New Jersey CDL Passenger Vehicles Test. Question 1. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is off the regular route, as safe as possible, or the next stop, dark and poorly lighted. The next stop. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 2. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 500 pounds 100 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds Answer 500 pounds. Question 3. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. In a closed building with passengers on board. With any of the windows open. Without a static chain. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 4. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if required by company policy. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Always. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Answer. Always. Question 5. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must. Always have a red door light turned on. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 6. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 5 feet. 10 yards. 100 feet. 50 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 7. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 8 the reason you must be alert for road hazard is so You can help impair drivers Law enforcement personnel can be called You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency Accident reports will be accurate Answer you will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 9. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. 
All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 10. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 11. You must not allow rider to stand. In front of the standee line. Within two feet of any window. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Between the wheel wells. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 12. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Be secured when the bus is being driven. Always have a red door light turned on. Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 13. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 6 4 8 0 Answer. 0 Question 14. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments. Emergency hospital supplies. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Tear gas. Answer. Tear gas. Question 15. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 6 8 4 0 Answer 0 Question 16. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Rider signaling devices are working. Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 17 if a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Have the rider pay a second fare. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Not allow them to do it. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Answer Not allow them to do it. Question 18. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher and accident reporting kit answer fire extinguisher spare electric fuses reflectors question 19 if there is no traffic light or attendant 
How far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 5 feet 10 yards 100 feet 50 feet Answer 50 feet Question 20. You must not allow rider to stand within two feet of any window in front of the standee line between the wheel wells within two feet of an emergency exit Answer In front of the standee line Question 21. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Not allow them to do it. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer not allow them to do it. Question 22. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Accident reports will be accurate. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 23. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Answer you need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 24. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 25. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If the distance is less than 500 yards by a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders by another bus with its four-way flashers on. Answer If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders Question 26. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 100 feet 10 yards 5 feet 50 feet Answer 50 feet Question 27. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. All of the above.
Answer. All of the above. Question 28. If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should not allow them to do it. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer Not allow them to do it. Question 29. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50 25 20 15 Answer 15 Question 30. Never refuel your bus. With any of the windows open. With a higher grade of fuel. Without a static chain. In a closed building with passengers on board. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 31. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 32. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 6 4 8 0 Answer 8 Question 33. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 15 20 50 25 Answer 15 Question 34. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so You can help impair drivers Accident reports will be accurate You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency Law enforcement personnel can be called Answer you will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 35. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 36. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 0 6 8 4 Answer. 8 Question 37 If there is no traffic light or attendant how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop 50 feet 100 feet 5 feet 10 yards Answer 
50 feet. Question 38. You must not allow rider to stand in front of the standee line within two feet of an emergency exit between the wheel wells within two feet of any window. Answer in front of the standee line. Question 39. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must be secured when the bus is being driven. Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Always have a red door light turned on. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 40. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit, fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors, hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher and accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 41. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 42. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer you need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 43. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if required by company policy. Always. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Answer Always Question 44. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Only on the front wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 45. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only on the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 46. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Four. Six. 
zero eight answer zero question forty seven which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit, hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors, spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors Question 48, the reason you must be alert for road hazard is so Law enforcement personnel can be called You can help impair drivers You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency Accident reports will be accurate. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 49 Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer you need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 50. Never refuel your bus. In a closed building with passengers on board. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 51 A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. Any rider can use all exits. The driver can move freely and easily. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 52. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency hospital supplies. Emergency drug shipments Tear gas Small arms ammunition, ORMT Answer Tear gas Question 53 If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 5 feet 10 yards 100 feet 50 feet Answer 50 feet Question 54 When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change Before and after signaling the change after completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 55 
your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 56. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Emergency exit handles are secure. Every handhold and railing is secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 57. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. In a closed building with passengers on board. With any of the windows open. Without a static chain. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 58. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors, reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit, spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Answer. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 59. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 60. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only on the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 61. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 500 pounds 300 pounds 100 pounds 250 pounds Answer 500 pounds. Question 62. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should not allow them to do it. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Have the rider pay a second fare. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 63. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 
eight, four, six, zero. Answer. Eight. Question sixty four. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is as safe as possible, or the next stop. Dark and poorly lighted. The next stop. Off the regular route. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 65. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 4 6 8 0 Answer 0 Question 66. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50 25 20 15 Answer 15 Question 67. Never refuel your bus. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. With a higher grade of fuel. In a closed building with passengers on board. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 68. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. After completing the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 69. You must not allow rider to stand. Within two feet of any window. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Between the wheel wells. In front of the standee line. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 70. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Six. Zero. Eight. Four. Answer. Zero. Question 71. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? Zero. Four. Eight. Six. Answer. Eight. Question 72. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 73. When is it best to wear your seat belt? 
always only if your bus holds more than 27 people only if required by company policy only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour answer always question 74 your bus is disabled the bus with riders aboard may be towed or pushed to a safe place only by a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 75. You must not allow rider to stand between the wheel wells within two feet of an emergency exit in front of the standee line within two feet of any window. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 76. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 15 50 25 20 Answer 15 Question 77. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. In a closed building with passengers on board. Without a static chain. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 78. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You can help impair drivers. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 79. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 80. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher. Spare electric fuses, reflectors, hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 81 When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that. Every handhold and railing is secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 82. 
A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements. Any rider can use all exits. The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 83. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Not allow them to do it. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 84. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 50 feet. 10 yards. 5 feet. 100 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 85. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 20. 15. 25. 50. Answer. 15. Question 86. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 87. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments. Emergency hospital supplies. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Tear gas. Answer. Tear gas. Question 88. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors, hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit, reflectors, fire extinguisher. Accident Reporting Kit Answer Fire Extinguisher, Spare Electric Fuses, Reflectors Question 89. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? Zero Four 6 8 Answer 8 Question 90 You must not allow rider to stand Between the wheel wells In front of the standee line Within 2 feet of any window Within two feet of an emergency exit. Answer. 
in front of the standee line. Question 91. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only on the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 92. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? Zero. Eight. Six. Four. Answer. Eight. Question 93. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Always. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only if required by company policy. Answer. Always. Question 94. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 95 If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 5 feet, 50 feet, 10 yards, 100 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 96. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 97 which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Tear gas. Emergency hospital supplies. Answer. Tear gas. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.